Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you a really simple way to square any number between 90 and 110 in less than two seconds without using a paper and pencil. So let's go ahead and look at the very first example. What it says, it says 109 squared. I want you to put down 109 like this way. The next step, what I want you to do is ask yourself how many numbers more than 100. Obviously, it is what? 9 more. When it is 9 more, you put always plus sign. So the next step, what I want you to do is go ahead and add these two numbers, 109 plus 9, which obviously makes what? 100 and what? 18. So the next step, what I want you to do is, I want you to take the square of this number, which is 9. 9 square is simply what? 81. So our complete answer is going to become simply what? 118.81. Piece of cake. Next problem. Let's look at this thing, what it says. 104. So you write down 104 right up here and ask once again yourself, how many more than 100? So these are four more than 100. So you put a plus sign on the top of this four. That means this is more, four more. So the next step once again, I want you to add these two numbers. 104 plus 4 makes what? 108. So the next step is, I want you to take the square of this number, which is 4. So that's going to become 4 squared is what? 16. So your complete answer is going to become simply 10816. That's it. Okay, let's move on to the next problem now. See, how are we going to do this one now? Once again, this is what? 1, 0, 1. And how many numbers more than 100? Which is what? 1 more than. So I'm going to put 1 with a plus on the top. So the next step is, I want you to add 1, 0, 1 plus 1 makes what? 1, 0, 2. And the next step is, I want you to take the square of this 1. So 1 square is 1 itself. And since we have a 2 places after this number, so 1 could be written as 0, 1. So our complete answer is going to become 1, 0, 2, 0, 1 is our answer. So I want you to be careful when it comes to 1 and then you put it in this form 0 1. If it was 2 then square of 2 is 4 so you can put a 0 4. So that's pretty much it. So let's look at this problem right now. This is what? 91 squared. So I want you to write down 91 and this time ask yourself how many numbers less than 100. So it is 9 less or 9 below. So this time I'm going to put a minus sign. It represents that this is 9 below 100. So once again, we're going to be doing exactly the same way. This time we have a, since we have a minus sign on the top, instead of adding, we will be subtracting this time. It's going to be 91 take away 9 is going to be what? It's going to be what? 82. So we're going to put down 82. And the next thing is, I want you to take the square of this 9. And 9 square is simply what? 81. So our complete answer is 82. 81 is our answer. So let's do a couple of more problems and see how we're going to take care of this thing. Now you help me out this time. So I'm going to put down 93 right up here and then ask yourself how many numbers below 100. So this is 7 below. So the next step is simply what? This time you're going to do 93 take away 7 minus 7 makes, makes what? 86. 86. 
So what you got 86. Now I want you to take the square of 7. And 7 square is, of course, it's a 49. So our complete answer is going to be 86. 49 is our answer. So how about this one if I say 98 square? So once again, put down 98 right up here. And then once again, how many numbers less than 100? It is 2 less. So you put a 2 with a minus sign on the top. Next step. 98 take away 2 is going to be what? 96. And then I want you to take the square of 2. 2 is square of 2 is 4. And since we have two places after this number, so 4 could be written as 0, 4. So our complete answer is going to be a 96, 0, 4. That is our answer. And finally, look at these two numbers. How are you going to do these one whose last digit is 5? Whenever you are squaring a number and whose last digit is 5, as you can see over here, in both of them. So how are we going to do this one? This is really super easy way that I'm going to show you. And over here, 5, first take care of the square. What is the square of 5 is what? 25. Just want you to put down 25. Then look at this number next is what? 9. Ask yourself, what comes after 9? After 9, the next number after 9 is 10. 10 times 9, you multiply these two numbers, that becomes what? 10 times 9 is 90, 25. So thus our complete answer is going to be a 9025 for this one over here, the square of this one. Let's take care of this one. How are you going to do this one over here? So this is going to be simply what? So over here, this is once again the square of 5 is going to be what 25 just write it down like this one and next thing what i want you to do is look at this number 10 ask yourself what is the next number that comes after 10 is what 11 now i want you to multiply 11 times 10 is what 100 and what 10 so your complete answer is going to be a 11025 is your complete answer. So that is pretty much it. Now I want you to practice on your own and even if you have to pause your video, you can gladly do so. And I have put down all the complete list of those squared numbers. You can just look at it. Take your time and see how you're going to do this one. So all the list from 90 all the way to 110 has been taken care of. So I'm sure practice makes perfect. Thanks a lot. Bye.